During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Corruption within the imperial court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Jiao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the imperial court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered was a man who fought on behalf of the people. His name was Liu Bei, and he was a descendant of Han royalty. Though we may have been born separately, we will die together as one. With this oath taken in the Peach Garden with his sworn brothers, Liu Bei joined the battle. For within his heart, there was no greater cause than to ease the people's suffering. Thanks in large part to the efforts of Liu Bei, the Yellow Turban Rebellion came to a much welcomed end. Afterwards, he continued to fight on behalf of the people, but the chaos showed no signs of abating. Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that the nobleman Yuan Shao rose up we must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, an even greater threat loomed over the assembled warlords. And that threat had a name, Dong Zhuo, a brutal warlord feared far and wide. Dong Zhuo manipulated the young emperor, soon ruling the capital through violence and fear. In response, Yuan Shao assembled the various warlords and formed a coalition against the tyrant. Rather than lament the endless chaos, Liu Bei wished to help the people who were suffering. And so, Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei found themselves heading to join the Allied camp. Before the Sworn Brothers stood the formidable gates of Sushui and Hulao. here today. Yes. Not only do we have Yuan Shao, the leader of the Alliance, but its instigator Cao Cao as well. Yuan Shu, Sun Jian, quite a list of dignitaries. Ha. And yet our brother is still unknown. At least, until we defeat Dong Zhuo here today, that is. Of course, it's all to help brother make a name for himself. Any personal satisfaction I get is merely a bonus. Try not to get ahead of yourself. Our actions reflect on brother, whether for better or for worse. You think I don't know that? Man, you guys need to lighten up a little. Looks like Lord Chong Fei's kept away from the drink. That's a relief. Those monsters burn my house to the ground. There's nothing I can do now but fight. Things are not finished just because we defeated Dong Zhuo. The chaos will continue until we can plant the lasting roots of peace. 
Lord Cao Cao will be a great hero one day. You do well to remember his name. So that's Cao Cao. Look at his eyes. They're so cold and calculating. <sighs> this is my first battle. I'm so nervous. Wow, look at all these famous warriors. So, who are you? What's taking so long? Let's get started. I notice Liu Yan is conspicuous by his absence. Just where is he? Hmm, can I help you with something? Now that is a horse. I wish I had one like that. My lord, it's me. Don't you remember me? After you saved me, I volunteered. Today's my first day in the army. The people are suffering at the hands of Dong Zhuo. We must defeat him in order to save them. So that's... I hear the enemy is loaded with mighty warriors. I don't see how we stand a chance. That Dong Shuo is a monster. He doesn't even look human. I am surprised to see so many warriors here. If I can stand out from the crowd, I will be rewarded handsomely. I hear Lord Gong Soon Zan and Lord Liu Bei are old friends from their school days. Yes, he's convinced me. Mind you, I'm a sucker for the nobility. Lord Yuan Shao's giving a speech. Won't you stay and listen? Rest assured, we are fighting for the most righteous of causes. Fear not! Step forth and be proud! For to battle we march! We must defeat Dong Zhuo and rescue the suffering people. Our first target is Su Shui Gate. Out of my way, Lord! You will not make room, I will cut you down! Pitiful! Is there no one who has the courage to stand up to Hua Xiong? Determine the final victory. Give it everything you have.
I'm so... Come on, men! Remember, we are the proud troops of Lord Sunjian! will not be enough to end this strife. Your fighting will inevitably ensue. Impressive. It is always inspiring to view such talent. Still not arrived. I'm starving. Yuan Shu was charged with the responsibility for sending in the supplies. Let's pay the boy. Smart me? Don't make me laugh. You will learn to regret this moment. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Doing my job. I organize the supplies. Those enemy troops lying in wait, I can't bring them in. If you want to help, clear a path. Hmm. It looks like the way is clear at last. It is time to send in the supply troops. for us all, brother. Tremble in fear, my boy. Don't Joe's rampage must be stopped here. For my children's generation, if not for my own. Yes, good work. I will repay your efforts by working just as hard myself. It is 
always inspiring to view such talent. You want my head? Then come and take it if you can! I shall return! Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! Step forward if you want to die. While I stand, none shall breach this gate. Then you shall have to be removed. I'm coming right through. The mighty Huashio! I have cut you down on behalf of my lord, Liu Bei! Fine work, Guan Yu. My brother. That's the way! I knew you had it in you! Excellent. Only Hulao Gate is left. Who 
Lao Gate is open. Onwards to Dong Zhuo and to peace. Good. Sure that you do not surpass me. I fight under the dictates of honor. You have potential, and it is potential that I seek. I believe your wits are a match for mine. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. are an example for us all, brother. Come and face me. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. I shall pull back for now. However, we shall meet in battle again. Thanks to the bravery of Liu Bei and Guan Yu, Dong Zhuo was driven from the capital. In his new capital of Chang'an, he soon found himself betrayed and murdered by his retainer Liu Bu. Finally, the gales of tyranny had been expelled from the capital's hallowed confines. However, the damage to the imperial court's authority had been done, and the land returned to the chaos of countless warlords vying for power. There was one man who was left behind, cut off from the raging storm. It was Liu Bei, who despite his deeds in the battle against Dong Zhuo, still had no land to call his own. And so he sought the aid of an old friend, Gong Sun Zan. For no matter how Liu Bei tried to rescue those around him, the land as a whole would not be healed. Despite his doubts, he could not give up on his desire to help the people. It was then that a request for reinforcements came from Tao Qian of Shu Province. 
Gong Sun Zan dispatched Liu Bei and his sworn brothers, as well as his own lieutenant, Zhao Yun. Their foe was a man who was attempting to use the chaos to further his own ambitions. He was the one known as the Hero of Chaos, Cao Cao. Thank you.